Here's the quote <laughs> from Adam Scott regarding a U.S. Open setup. Let's just have something that's a challenge and interesting, not playing brutal. Maybe it's time to do away with the even par target. The ball is in their court. Hopefully they get it right this time just from a playability standpoint. If their, uh, if their major pinnacle event requires courses to be the way they are, it doesn't set a good example. They've dropped the ball where the game is at least over, uh, sorry, they've dropped the ball uh, where the game is over the last 20 years. And I think he's talking about a couple of setups, but Bob, here's my problem with this, okay? The U.S. Open has an identity. If they lose even par and difficulty and challenge as the standard, they become the PGA Championship, which has always been the weakest sister of the four majors because it's always struggled with identity. The Open Championship's the home of golf. It's a Lynx golf course. The Masters is about Roars on Sunday and the Green Jacket. The U.S. Open is about the greatest challenge and that level even par. Now, Mike Davis needs to stay out of the way and not give us a circus like he gave us at Chambers Bay with floating pars and angled tee decks. But I'm okay with a tough setup once a year where even par wins. I don't know how you feel about that. I'm okay with a tough setup. I'm a little nervous about going to so many new courses, first-time courses. It makes a challenge. Jack Nicklaus said something similar. You never quite know what you're going to get out there. Uh, I also think that the USGA should be setting an example for all of golf. So they've done that by going to courses where the environment is put forth in how they design the courses and how they upkeep the courses. Now let's take it to the next level where maybe the setup is a little more gentle, a little more fair, that more people could play it, actually.